This is an instructional video for a sound casting process in non-metal mole group. First, execute any pre to set the simulation condition. There are two ways to import STL files. Let's start with the first way. Click File and click Import to import the STL file. Import is a function that loads the saved modeling in STL format into any pre. Another way to import STL files is very simple. Simply just drag the STL file to any pre. Double click the entity or use that entity to specify inserted, cavity, overflow, and runner. When you simulate a real model of Ingate or runner, you can integrate it into runner. Now set mold with set mold. Casting only function is only used for flow analysis without mold and is not used for general casting. Casting plus mold is used when simulating cavity and mold. When you click the casting plus mold button, you will see three different options. First of all, box is to create a virtual space. Please input the thickness of each direction. Second of all, shell thickness option will be enabled when you input shell thickness for investment casting. Lastly, mold entity is used when there is mold STL. Made cast from the cavity of mold is a function that recognizes the rest of the mold is cast when there is no cavity but mold data. In other words, if there is cast entity, even when you check this function, simulation will not be proceeded. In this case, since there is no mold entity, we'll create a virtual mold by using box. Select box and enter wall thickness. Set the poor surface based on the axis displayed on the screen. Click Set Domain to set the calculation area. You can adjust the calculation area by using the coordinates and the ratio. And as a result, only the part included in domain will generate mesh. There are three ways to generate mesh, which are build uniform mesh, build variable mesh, and auto mesh. First is build variable mesh. Press the spacebar to switch the mode to selection mode. Then select start and end. After entering dividing number, set the remaining part as auto block. Mesh will be generated in the orthogonal direction of the selected axis. Set the rest of the Y and Z axis. Mesh generation cannot be executed on the forwarded axis displayed on the screen when generating mesh. After setting X, Y, and Z axis, click OK button to generate mesh. Secondly, we'll look into Uniform Mesh. In the Uniform Mesh, there are total number of cell, dividing the simulation area into a fixed size mesh when the number of all cells is input. Also, there is number of cells along axis, which specifies the number of mesh in each axis direction, and size of unicell that specifies one cell size. Size of cell is a function that decides the mesh size of X, Y, and Z directions. The total number of mesh 
will be generated automatically by the program, based on the values entered by the user. The last one is AutoMesh. Click AutoMeshing for X, Y, and Z. After setting the minimum and the maximum size of AutoMesh, minimum and maximum size as the reference value of the generated mesh size. Let's start with task design. After selecting the process, please select the range of simulation. In the material setting, double click the entity to select the material. Multiple selections can also be made by pressing the control or shift key. Hit transfer coefficient value as input automatically. But please make sure if the value is right or not. The hit transfer coefficient unit of this video is calorie. Please set the port temperature in gate condition. When setting the gate condition, please switch to mesh mode. Please press the space bar to switch to selection mode and select the gate. The selected part will be changed to yellow. Then, enter the pore temperature. In the case of sand casting, direct pouring is used since the casting process uses sprue. The center coordinates of sprue will be automatically entered, however, user will need to input the radius of the surface. However, user will need to input the radius of the pore surface. After inputting the pouring time in flow condition, please click Apply. Then the speed value will be displayed in estimated filling time window. Please input this value in flow condition. To set gravity force, please click Enable and set the gravity direction. The gravity direction is based on the axis displayed on the screen. Gas and metal surface is a function that predicts the amount and the position of the generated gas when melt is poured into the cavity. Oxide slide inclusion model is a function to set oxide occur conditions and to predict oxide dispersion in cavity. After activating it, click the icon next to variable temperature to see the value of the automatic input. The input value should be zero at solidification temperature of male material and one at pouring temperature. Particle tracing is a function to track the movement path by expressing the melt as particles coming through gate. Click to enable start slash end control. For particle source value, 10 is recommended. Shrinkage model is model for predicting solidification shrinkage. Please activate gravity shrinkage since it is a gravity affected casting due to slow solidifying time. The cast iron module is used when you're using cast iron material. When this function is used, the mechanical properties and phase fraction will be predicted depending on the amount of alloy element. Also, when this option is selected, regardless of the end condition, the simulation will end only after the temperature is cold until 300 degrees. Please activate mold erosion that predicts the erosion area of mold, as well as core gas that predicts the location of generated gas due to core. However, core entity should be set in order to use.
There are two ways to install a sensor. First is by using a mouse, and the other is by inputting coordinates. Sensor allows you to view speed, pressure, temperature, and etc. in a specific part of a simulation area. After setting in slash out condition, click save, then pre-setting process will all be done. In general for end condition, please select 100% solidification. However, this can vary depending on the test design setting. When setting is done on any pre, and the file is saved, eight files will be created in the folder. If the extension is GSEX, it is the file that contains some contents from any pre. MIF6X is virtual mesh information on real flow. Therefore, if you delete it, real flow will not be applied. MSHX includes physical mesh information. PRPX is a solver execution file. PXM, XML, TXT, and VPX are the files that store information about simulation settings. There are two ways for simulation. First is save it in any pre. and press Run to start simulation. Second is to execute any solver for simulation. After executing any solver, please click Open Project and open the file. Then the information window of space available on disk, space required on disk, and number of result files will pop up. Check the information and click Start to initiate simulation.